We have an amazing venture ahead. We're visiting the White House in Washington, D.C. And guess what? Our friend Brooklyn is going to give us a special tour. Let's go. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the White House. Are you ready for a fun and exciting tour? Yes! Look at these amazing decorations. I feel like I am, I am in a movie. This building has so much history. Every president since John Adams has lived here. That's incredible! This is the East Room. It's used for concerts and big events. Wow, it's so grand! Can we pretend to have a concert here? Absolutely. Let's imagine we're performing for the president. And this is the state dining room. Imagine having a fancy dinner here with all the world leaders. I feel so fancy. What kind of foods do they serve here, Brooklyn? They serve all kinds of gourmet dishes. Sometimes they even have special themed dinners. That sounds delicious. And here we are in the Oval Office, where the president makes all the important decisions. Daddy, does the president play field games here? <laughs> Not exactly, Toby. The president has a lot of important work to do. This room has seen many historic moments. Presidents have made crucial decisions right here. It feels so important in here. This is the Rose Garden. Presidents come here to make big announcements. It's so beautiful. Everyone, let's take a selfie. The flowers are so pretty. Many historic announcements have been made here. It's a very special place. This is the family theater. Imagine watching movies here with the president. Let's watch our favorite movie. Fun fact. This room is used to be a cloakroom before it became a theater. Can we watch a movie here now? We can pretend. What's your favorite movie? I love Toy Story. Me too. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone. Before we move on, let's have a quick Q&A session. Ask me about the White House. How many rooms are in the White House? There are 132 rooms, including 35 bathrooms and 6 levels. How many people work here? Around 100 full-time staff members work in the White House. They help keep everything running smoothly. Yes, public tours are available, but you need to request them through your member of Congress. Has the White House always been white? Actually, it was originally grayish. It got its white color based after being painted with white lead based paint to protect the stone walls. This is the Lincoln bedroom. It's named after President Abraham Lincoln, who used this room as his office. It's so historic. Look at that beautiful bed. The bed is indeed grand. It's said that Lincoln never actually slept in it, but it remains a significant piece of history. This is the green room. It's used for small receptions and teas. It's so elegant. Each room in the White House has its own unique color scheme and purpose. Can we have a tea party here? Let's pretend. This is the Blue Room. It's used for receptions. It has a beautiful view of the South Lawn. The decorations are stunning. I love the color scheme. It's so regal. The Blue Room is often used for receiving guests and hosting events. Did you know? Many presidents have had pets in the White House. Really? What kinds of pets? Presidents have had dogs, cats, birds, and even exotic animals like alligators. Wow, an alligator? Yes. President John Quincy Adams had a pet alligator that he kept in a bathtub. That's so cool. Pets have always been a big part of the White House life. They even have their own play areas. The White House has been through a lot of changes over the years. Did you know that it was burned down in 1814 during the War of 1812? That's unbelievable. It was rebuilt and has been expanded many times since then. What about the secret rooms? 
There are many interesting spaces, including a hidden bunker and secret tunnels. It's amazing to think all about it's amazing to think about all the history that has happened here. Yes, every room has a story to tell. This is the White House kitchen. The chefs here prepare meals for the president and his family, as well as for state dinners. The kitchen looks so busy. It is. The kitchen staff can prepare up to 2,000 horse de for mm. a reception. Wow, that's a lot of food. They also use fresh ingredients from the White House garden. That's wonderful. I love how they use fresh produce. This is the White House garden where they grow vegetables, fruits, and herbs. Look at all the plants. The garden was started by First Lady Michelle Obama to promote healthy eating. They use the produce from this garden in the White House kitchen. I love it! It's such a great idea! We had an incredible time today. Thank you so much, Brooklyn. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope you all enjoyed the tour. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more adventures. Bye, everyone!